ho you guys. We were out antiquing a couple days ago and I picked this up for six dollars and fifty cents. It's a little gingerbread, cast iron gingerbread mold. So uh, I'm gonna have to clean it up and redo it and uh, I thought while I was at it I'd do a bunch of stuff. I've got some stuff that have, that's been hanging out in the garage for a while. Oh and yesterday we got our first Dutch oven. It's new. It's a lodge. And they're supposed to be pre-seasoned and ready to go, but I thought I'd put another coat of seasoning on it uh, while I'm at all this. And we pick a lot of stuff up in uh, at estate auctions and stuff. Boy, this one's it's in bad shape. It's pretty dirty. Uh, I'm not quite sure what it is yet, but we'll get it cleaned up and fight, figure it out. Anyhow, this, uh, these came in a, a box, a bottom of a cardboard box full of crap that I picked up for, get this, seven bucks for the whole box. And if you know your cast iron, this one's a Wagner, I can already tell. It's got a real nice, smooth bottom, so clean that up and try it. See how it comes out. And then I can also tell this one's a Griswold. So I thought I'd show you guys how I restore cast iron. It's pretty easy. And uh, we've been really going to town on it and switching over. I made this here. I'll see if I can twist you guys up a little bit. I made this uh, <laughs> like our nasty kitchen. Uh, I made this pot rack out of an old ladder for the missus, and we've got a lot of our cast iron on there. And uh, some Revere ware peacefully cohabitating with it. I'm rebuilding the kitchen cabinets, so they don't have fronts on them right now. Um, here, I'll show you. Hold on just a second. Our cabinets are getting to be in some pretty bad shape. Just old and tired and worn out and BF ugly. Uh, near as I can tell they were put in during a remodel in 1971 in the house so I've been having to tear these appliques off and it's winding up being just huge work because I'm going to have to bondle stuff and refinish and all but um, when I'm done with the whole thing they're turning out like this not the dog bowl and here over the stove, um, I've been doing some pie safe effect. Punched tin. Don't even have a knob on that one, and I'm working on that one right now. So anyhow, back to the cast iron. So, um... Yeah, I'll give these a good washing in the sink, and and then uh, we'll go from there, and I'll be back in a few minutes. Okay, well, they, they look a lot, lot better already without all the leaves and grass and cobwebs and crap in them. They must have been stored in the bottom of a box or something out in somebody's shed or garage for a long time. This one, I don't know what it is yet. We'll find out. Um... But uh, somebody loved the heck out of it because it's got a lot of old crusty patina and seasoning on it. And it's pretty nice flat in the bottom. That's one thing you really need to look for when you're picking these things up at garage sales and antique or uh, uh, estate auctions and stuff. So, and this one turned out a lot nicer already. There's some rusty spots in the bottom we'll work on those this is uh, this is the Griswold and in it was well well used too lots of old seasoning on it boy is it got a nice smooth bottom and then the Wagner same thing so somebody really loved these pans for a long time then well, maybe they died and stuff got put out in the garage or the shed in a box and just left there 
But these are very old. This, uh, this I don't know how old it is, but uh, it's pretty cool. And we'll have to try making some cookies or gingerbread men or something in it right away. Okay. Um, what I like to do is uh, put them in the oven at, uh, on the self-cleaning cycle and that seems to be an awful easy way to get them cleaned up so we'll do that and uh, uh, for a couple hours and when they're done uh, with that I'll show you how they turn out they'll be all rusty and icky looking but uh, trust me we're going to get somewhere Okay, guys, well, it, it's actually been a couple days. I, I like to put the uh, my cast iron in the uh, oven and uh, late in the day, and then I let it run through, and then I just let it cool off on its own overnight. And I'll tell you more about that later, but I'll show you how it comes out. All that crusty stuff comes off, uh, and it looks rusty, but that's okay. That's what it's supposed to do. Especially if you let it sit in the oven for a couple days. But, uh, there's the bigger one. And everything is off of it. We're down to pretty much bare metal. All set up over at the sink and uh, I'll show you what I do next. Alrighty. Well, Next step is to get all the rust and everything scrubbed off. You can use a steel wool, one of these scratchy pads. Um, actually, have a Brillo pad here. So it's okay at this stage. This will be the last time this cast iron sees any soap for. <laughs> years. Well, it's okay right now as long as I get it installed real good and before I start to season it. A little bit of a rough spot right there. Rough was. Anyhow, rub everything up real good. Boy, that's a nice smooth bottom on that one. start to see what kind of pieces we have. This is a uh, this Griswold 11 and quarter inch skillet. Probably not that old of a dress wall because it doesn't have a stove number on it. This is nine here on the handle. So anyhow, I'm gonna do all these pieces and then uh, show you what's next after that.